Okay, I don't know if this is working. Uh, I've never done this before. I went ahead and downloaded the Streamlabs app for my phone and battery thing, like a portable power supply. And I have the phone mounted on a selfie stick, which is strapped to my body with tape. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't have time for a regular stream today. I'm doing, uh, this is Seelum by the way, welcome to Seelum Stream. Um, yeah, okay. This is really disorienting, trying to look through the camera that's right below my nose and also seeing if I'm uh, looking at my countertop. Uh, for the last 30 minutes or so, I've been wiping down all the counters. I like to put down paper towels on my... I'm making cupcakes today. Um, I don't, as I mentioned, I don't have time to do a regular stream because I'm going to a real life thing later today and I plan to bring cupcakes. Uh, so I thought, you know, why don't I just stream that instead? So today I'm going to be making strawberry cupcakes. I've never done this before. Um, we're going to use some fresh strawberries. I've got two pounds of strawberries here. Didn't, didn't know how much I needed. So I just went and, get, and got two because they're on sale. Uh, I got some eggs. I don't know if I can see that. I've got some eggs. Uh, I'm going to cheat and use cake mix because I don't bake that often. I don't want to have five pounds of or whatever other small pests. So I've got that, uh, some olive oil. This recipe calls for a third cup of vegetable oil and three egg whites, cup of water. So we're going to have that, some olive oil. Um, because we got cake mix, I like to get plain cake, white cake mix, and then make it into my own thing. So I've got some strawberry fruit spread and some whipped frosting because I don't want to make butter cake, buttercream frosting today. Uh, so I just, I mean, and uh, yeah, I think that's everything that's going to go into this. We're going to be using this too. I'll plug that in later. And I haven't used this in a while. Maybe I'll rinse it out. I'll give it a quick rinse. I'll put that upside down to dry for now. Paper towel also works as a drying rack. Double helpful. Um, uh, first thing I want to do. Yeah, I'll give that a rinse too. When I'm cooking is I do a lot of cleaning at the same time because I'm OCD like that. Everything's easier to clean uh, if it's freshly uh, soiled, like rather than letting it dry out. I rinsed these out last night to prep them, but I didn't go ahead and cut them because I just want to do everything that I do on the stream. So I'll start removing the green parts of these strawberries. really know how many strawberries I want. What I'm going to do is instead of water, I'm going to blend these strawberries and put them in to the cake mix. Uh, and it calls for a cup of water. Instead of, a cup is eight ounces. So instead of eight ounces of water, oh, did I get in my mixing cup? Let me see if I've got that up here. Okay, that looks clean, but spotty from water. So give that a rinse. There's like a little leaf bit stuck to that strawberry. I wanted it off. I wanted it gone. Cut some of the bigger pieces down. I cut everything. Probably should have gone for a bigger knife now that I'm not just paring off the bits, but um, I'm almost done here. You know what? Forget it. I'm getting the big knife out. It's the Victorinox Jubilee Edition um, chef's knife. Whoa. I don't know what it retails for normally, but uh, when it occasionally goes on sale, it's like $35 or so. This one actually does need a little bit of sharpening because I've been using it on things like watermelon rinds and um, 
you know, like wood and stuff <laughs> that I shouldn't be using it on. Well, not wood, but like uh, we had an H Mart open up in the area recently and I was super excited to see some of the exotic fruits. So I picked up, uh, I picked up some sugar cane and chopped that up and it's basically like a tree that you can eat. Um, you know, it's just sugar water inside thing. You, you can eat it straight up by uh, and then you chew it like gum. You just chew the juices out of it. And it's more for novelty because it doesn't really have a flavor. It's just sugar water. Uh, but it's coming from a tree and you're, you're eating a tree, which makes me a happy panda. Oh, you know what? I think I can actually participate in chat. Let me see if I can't put a comment on the screen and see if that does something. Oh, does it work? Yes, it does. Supreme Quiet Chichin. Did I? Can I do that right? Wait, I, I can't. You have to help me. How do I pronounce that? I have real life stuff today. So uh, instead of not streaming and just making cupcakes like I would normally do, I decided to stream the cupcakes, the cupcake making process. Put it on great. Okay, awesome. So that's how much, I can't read that. That's more than a cup, that's two cups. That's twice as much as... Um, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I think normally people start with this and then they add the liquids to it, but I'm gonna do it in reverse order. It's gonna make the mixing process. Excuse me. It's gonna make the mixing process a little bit, uh, a little bit more difficult. I'm trying to make some space. I was in a hurry at the store, and I buy it without checking. What was I gonna do with the yolks? I forget. I think I'm just gonna to toss them out actually, since I'm not making cream today. I'm not making the frosting. Oh, no, no. Okay, I mean, this, it, it's okay, we're fine. I can, I can salvage this. Didn't break the yolk too much. Just a little bit and a little bit of shell right there. Can't. All right, I'll just do that until the yolk breaks. Get as much of the white as I can. Got some yolk in my finger, gonna rinse that off real quick. So is your phone just strapped to your chest head or what's your set? Actually, yeah. Uh, I have a selfie stick that I got yesterday. I picked up a selfie stick and then I strapped it to my apron. Let's see. <laughs> so I've got like a cloth belt on, um, on my apron. And then I've got like plastic packing tape strapping it to my body. So, and I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of winging it. Okay, that's pretty darn good. All right, eggs are done. So your phone is... <laughs> that's a low-tech solution, yeah. <laughs> oil, a third of a cup of oil. Get rid of this. One thing that's really interesting is like, with this camera, um, strapped to my chest, I find myself looking through it and trying to like do stuff with it. And so if you see me like doing like this, it's because I'm looking through the camera instead of just using my eyes directly to, to grab things. It's really disorienting and weird. I sure hope I don't run out of paper towels in the middle of the stream. Poor connection I'm getting. So do you live stream cooking stuff? What's your usual MO? Uh, I usually do games. Um, I did a Dark Souls stream where I played Dark Souls 3 for the first time ever and died like a million billion times. Was it a third of a cup? So just to there. Alright, so I've got oil, 
I'm gonna, so here's a trick. When I want my cupcakes extra moist, I like fudge the figures a little bit and add a little bit of extra oil is what makes them moist. There's no water in them. For them to be shelf stable, you can't have water in things like Twinkies and stuff uh, because, you know, then it goes bad. But oil is, so when you bite into something deliciously moist, but it has a long shelf life, the moistness actually comes from the oil. <laughs> Okay, um, then it calls for a cup of water. Clearly this is not all water. Um, precise measurements? I don't bake like that at all. We're gonna go 10 ounces. It's 25% more than it's called for. I'm gonna go a little bit more than that. This might make, no, let's, let's stick with that. If, uh, if the mix comes out dry, we can add more. We well, can't unadd. I better follow that rule. Can't take stuff out. Oh, I like the color. So I like mixing by hand because with cupcakes, you don't want to overmix. Uh, once you start adding liquids to the mixture uh, for any kind of baking, it activates the, um, the gas producing elements. And by gas producing, I mean like baking soda or yeast or whatever, that's what makes it rise. If you overmix, then uh, you're gonna get flat hockey pucks for cupcakes. to itself, wherever it goes. It is the, the solitary ingredient. Oh man, I'm loving this. Didn't know it would come out so beautifully. I just hope it stays this way after I bake it. Um, so you want it actually a little lumpy. Lumpy is okay. You don't want to overmix, as I mentioned. Um, but if it's a little bit lumpy, that's all right. The lumps should come out on their own while baking. When you're baking at like, what is it, 400 degrees or whatever, 425, what does it say? No, it's the same for cupcakes. Preheat oven to 350 for metal glass pans, 325 for darker coated pans. We're gonna go 350 because we're not using a dark or coated pan, we're using cupcake cups. The main thing is I don't want these like unmixed dry bits here. I'm just trying to smush those out. But little, you don't have to get all the chunks out because uh, 300 degrees, it's going to boil a little bit. When you watch it um, in the oven, once it starts to come into temperature, you'll see it bubble up. And part of that is the gas being released. Some of it, I think, is just the liquids boiling up. And um, obviously, oil has a higher boiling temperature, so it sticks around, keeps your cupcakes moist. Uh, that's, so that's something that I like about it. Feel free to disagree if anyone thinks they know more than me because they might uh, about baking at least. Um, but the bubbling should help mix some of the smaller chunks. I just don't want any really large chunky bits that, you know, if you ever make like, if you ever do like a protein shake and then you think it's all mixed and then you get that lump and then it like explodes into like dust in your mouth, that's not good. That's equally bad for cupcakes because you will bite into your cupcake and you'll find like this dry powdery part and you don't want that. Nobody wants that. Uh, the next part is the part that takes the longest out of any of these parts with cupcakes is loading them up. So let's see what I've got here. Are These are um, one eighth cup uh, scoops. I just pick them up for like a dollar at the regular grocery store. Uh, spoons work as well too. There we go. Uh, for this size batch, I'm gonna be I'm gonna end up doing probably a dozen and a half. Definitely no more than that. Some people like to do two dozen from a batch like this, but you get really short cupcakes. Like the cupcakes don't rise above 
the cups and I like when they have that big like muffin muffiny part on top. So I'm gonna set this up for a dozen and a half. I might not use all of them. You might go 14 or 15 instead of 16. Do that. Okay, Scoopy. This is an eighth cup scoop. Um, I just like it because I can get more. What is this flat thing? What the heck is that? What in the world? This is not up to food standards. Where did this come from? I'm throwing this out. I think that might have been from the inside of the, uh, the mix packet or something. That's really gross. So an eighth cup, that's exactly two ounces. Uh, we'll go a little bit more than that, but I'm just trying to get this into all the cups first. Doesn't matter if they're oddly shaped in the cup, they'll uh, sort themselves out with a little bit of time. I've never made strawberry cupcakes. Hopefully this will work out fine. If not, people are just going to have to not like my cupcakes and I will eat them myself. Okay, I'll do five over here and I'll top the other ones off. I end up doing about, I don't know, three ounces, two and a half ounces maybe. This stuff is rising really fast. Oh, it's thick. It smells really sweet right now. It's like, it's really good. I don't normally do uh, frosting like or, or dough, like raw dough, just because I'm paranoid about, you know, raw eggs and stuff. So I won't do it, but if it wasn't for that, I would be eating all this dough just straight up. I feel like I'm in the mortal combat of baking. All this extra dough, gotta get it over here like scorpion. Get over here! Sorry. <laughs> That's probably enough for one more, one more dinky cupcake, we'll do it. I like to get every last scrap because, you know, I went through all the effort of strawberries and mixing this all up. I'm, I might as well get that extra cupcake out of it. If, it's, if it only means there's an extra cupcake that I can keep at home and not take to this party and I can eat it myself, then it's worth going through and scraping up all the extra little bits. Really not that different. I mean, dough is associated with bread, but the difference between bread and cake is usually just sugar. I did a little bit of reading about like what happens chemically uh, depending on how much sugar you add. Um, and sugars prevent the proteins like the eggs and the flour. Proteins, there's actually protein in the flour. And it prevents that from forming these long strands that give the internal internals of whatever you're making, uh, it gives it structure. Like when you cut open a slice of bread, it's got these big pockets of air and that's formed from, from the protein aligning itself during the baking process but sugars coat the proteins as well as oils oils and sugars will coat the proteins and prevent them from making such long strands and instead of getting uh, a tougher material at the end you get something soft and cakey that's why uh, cake often calls for milk sugar um, those types of things milk contains lactose or lactase or whatever it is that turn that breaks down into sugars during the baking process that helps uh, prevent proteins from forming um, into long strands and instead of cake instead of dough, uh, bread it gives you cake I didn't preheat the oven no I think we said 350 what does it say 350 okay it's all right it won't take too long to preheat, maybe like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. 
I can get started on some other stuff in the meantime. The baking doesn't take very long if you, um, I think it's 18 to 21 minutes, but you wanna be on the short, shorter end of that. Uh, you don't wanna bake all the moisture out of it. The oil does help, but you want some moisture or uh, you're gonna have dry cupcakes. Nobody likes that. Uh, I think I wanted to prep some frosting. I wanted to prep some filling. We're gonna fill these cupcakes today. And let's do the filling first. Rinse this easily enough. Actually, I don't need the bowl. We'll go straight from the jar. It would have been embarrassing if I couldn't open that jar. So I'm really glad that worked. Uh, for filling, you can buy this at the pharmacy of any store, drugstore. It's like, um, uh, but this stuff you can buy at the pharmacy. It's for, I don't know, like for kids. Like if you want to mix their, grind up their pills in syrup or whatever, and then feed it to them. Or you, um, they sell this kind of stuff for pets too, but it's usually like a smaller dose. It works really well for filling things. You can do like a, a frosting bag or whatever, like a filling bag. But uh, when, it term, when it comes to injecting liquids into cake, this works really well. Um, but the jellies, like this is what we're going to be putting inside the cupcake. This is what I'll use to make a hole and then we'll, uh, we'll stick some jam in that. I could just drink it. Oh, oven is done. All right. Excellent. Now that I have this weird, awkward setup where I've got a stick mounted to my chest, let's see if I can get these in here without um, burning myself into the oven. Really, I'm gonna hold on to it by hand. Really turned on about that. Okay. Okay, so they're in the oven. I don't know if you could see that from this angle, but they're in there. Uh, let's see, did I even clean this knife? Oh, I used it for the bag. I'll wash it down. <laughs> All right, uh, first thing, I'm gonna get the fillings ready. Then I will get the frosting ready next. We won't be able to get that on the cupcakes until um, till they've had the chance to cool. But I can go ahead and mix this up. My hands are all wet. More paper towels. I demand it, actually. I'm jumping all over the place. I'm gonna cut these two. I'm gonna use them as garnish because I have extras and why not? So more stuff is going to get washed here. I'm going to go for the smaller ones this time. I have 18 cupcakes, dozen and a half. I've been saying 16 this whole time. <laughs> That's why I'm baking and not doing math. Shoot, baking, math is really important in baking actually. Measuring stuff correctly. Trying to visualize what I'm going to do with these strawberries after the cupcakes are done. I think it'd be really cute if I cut them into like a heart shape. As you can tell, I'm not a professional chef. Yeah, that's a little bit more heart-like. But I have to come up with one, two, three, four. That was two strawberries, so six, eight, 10, 12. I'm gonna need more strawberries. <laughs> this could make a great um, like Valentine's Day recipe, I suppose, the, with the with the strawberry hearts or whatever. I may not I may not even do that. I could maybe cut them into thinner slices. Oh, that was really close to my finger. And do that. And then, well, maybe not that one, because that one is um that one's kinda got like a big hole in the middle. But I could do something like this. And oh that doesn't work either. I just ruined it. Hmm. But it looks like I'm gonna have to eat it. <laughs> These are going to be the cutest cupcakes I've ever made by far. This is the first time I've ever made an attempt to really make them cute. 
If you don't think your cupcakes are going to be eaten in the next day or two, uh, don't do those. Don't do the fresh strawberries because they will not last the way the rest of the baked goods will. All right, three minutes on the clock. Let's check on the oven. Yeah. That looks good, but not quite doughy. Not quite done. I don't know if that comes through. It smells amazing though. So this stuff is like the wit frosting and you have to stir it to get it kind of fluffy. It says something like 25 times. So I just kind of, I didn't go too deep. I went kind of shallow and did the top half. Just kind of stirred that. And I had to go for the really fluffy stuff because once you start mixing it with other things, it's, the, it's gonna lose a lot of its fluff. It looks, it looks okay. Looks not quite there yet. Mm, that's good, that's fine. Let's pop it out. Let's pop it out of the oven. Get out of here. It's really hard to do without bending down fully. Cupcakes. Let's see what I can grab. Okay. They're not fully done yet. Um, but they're mostly done. So what I'm gonna do, this is a chopstick, metal chopstick. Oh yeah, they are pretty done. They're a little gooey inside, oh shoot. That's why I wanted to wait until they were a little bit more done. That tiny one in the back is the one I scraped together from like leftovers. This one right here. Oh, I may have forgotten to top off some of these ones over here. There's gonna be some short cupcakes next to some really tall cupcakes. Okay. Uh, from the state of things, I'm gonna say four, three to five more minutes in the oven. Opening the oven lost a lot of heat. So this is my medical syringe turned baking tool. Never use it for medical purposes, don't worry about that. Okay. Mm. Smells good, smells done. Let's check it out. All right, um, a trick to determining whether or not it is done. Let's get some toothpicks. Wooden toothpick works best. I don't know of any other kind actually, so use a toothpick. Take a good spot, poke it down. If it comes up and uh, there's any cakiness sticking to it, that means it's not done inside. These are not ready. I'm gonna check one of the shorter ones. These ones look a little bit more down the surface, but no, they're not done. They're not ready. Back in they go. Let's give it another, gosh, we lose so much heat every time I open the oven. And for some reason this gas oven doesn't heat that quickly. I'm gonna have to give it another Probably three minutes. Three, four, we'll give it five. Because every time, like I can feel the heat right now and it's actually not even that hot coming out of the oven. Let's go ahead and look. One thing I need to do is figure out whether this loads up well. And it looks like it is. You have to move the tip around because you create air pockets under the surface. And if you don't move the tip, then you get an empty syringe. It's just air. I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the bowl. We're getting the bowl out. I think this is a also two ounces. Let's see if I can't do this without a spoon because I'm lazy and I'm shaking. It's not working that well. I was gonna say this spoon. If, uh, if what you're using to fill frosting, uh, fill cupcakes with, like you, if you're using like marshmallow frosting or something like um, something really thick and viscous, 
and it doesn't want to go in the syringe, what you can do is you can heat it up and that helps a little bit, make it a little less viscous and easier to work with. But when it cools down inside the syringe, you have to move quick before it cools down. I'm tasting it. It tastes sweet, tangy, like strawberries. It doesn't taste too artificial. Like um, some brands will sell you a jam that's meant to go with like, like in PBJs. And it's more for like kids where they don't care about tasting like the original strawberry. They just want it to taste like red, like red flavor. This is more strawberry, less red, less like a generic red flavor. So uh, I approve. The whole goal of blending strawberries into the batter, strawberry jam in the, in the center and in the frosting is to have this burst with strawberry flavor. That's my goal. One minute on the clock. What else do I need? Um, that's right. Don't need to wait on this. Let's do this. I have zero spoons. I started with two and I'm at zero because I keep using them for other things and then washing them. I just dropped something I washed in the sink. I'll wash it again. That looks pretty good. Please don't, please don't fall into the oven phone. I'm not ready for the smell of melting plastics just yet. Okay, so we gave it another five minutes or so. Let me pull a fresh toothpick and test it. Let's see, one of the big ones. Wait, this toothpick is already a terrible toothpick. The, the front of the toothpick was already frayed. Of course it's gonna pull up some cake. Okay, so the toothpick comes up clean. When I jab it, I, I don't know if the camera caught that. Comes up clean. These cupcakes are done. I picked one of the biggest ones. We've got a couple even bigger ones over here. Done. Okay, great. So these cupcakes are ready for the filling process. These cupcakes away. Bring this jam over here. I'm going to try to give them about an ounce each. It's like filling jelly donuts. It's what it looks like when you look down in there. This, by the way, works with chocolate syrup. If you want to do like a chocolate cupcake and fill it with chocolate syrup, that works as well. Um, chocolate syrup tends to get absorbed by the cake and make it kind of doughy again. It doesn't work that well when you bite into it. There's no gooey chocolate spilling out. Uh, what I like to use instead is Nutella, but Nutella is really thick. So that's one of the things that I, I mentioned by, as an example. If it's too thick to work with the syringe, you might have to heat it up a little bit to make it a little bit more viscous. Uh, and that way you can get it up into the syringe. Kind of ashamed at how short these little cupcakes ended up over here in the end. But there's always someone who is like calorie conscious or carb conscious and they just want a little bit of cupcake, not a whole big huge one. So I'm sure this won't be an issue. Uh, when I mentioned, er one thing I mentioned earlier that everybody likes and the opposite, everybody dislikes. Nobody likes a dry cupcake. Everybody likes a moist cupcake. If your cupcakes don't come out moist, put something liquid in them. That also helps. All right. All right, all of these cupcakes are now filled. Uh, next step is mixing the frosting. I could have put the frosting right in there and used the leftover jam, but um, it's too late for that. If anyone wants to take the, the video on demand and edit out all the cleaning parts, I would love that. Okay, I'm gonna go 25% on the jelly at first. Oh, 
Mm, love the color. It's making it rather than thicker. It's actually watering it down. I think 20. I think this amount is good. The visual test looks good. The taste test is next. Let's see. It tastes like strawberries. Yeah. In fact, it's a little bit too strong. It's like it's like really sweet. This needs a little bit more of the generic frosting. Okay. Is anyone getting motion sickness from me um, stirring? Because this is a camera mounted to my chest. I can't help it if I, if I move a little bit. I'm trying to stay as still as possible. All right, the next part, just take a regular spoon. And I wish I could bring these over, but this is still a little, it's not that hot actually. I'm okay, I'm, I'm good. Let's bring it over under the light. gonna use a spoon nothing fancy drop a dollop on there and then what you do is you take the back of the spoon just kind of move it in a circle you don't press down you just use the stickiness of the frosting and this is really viscous if it was thicker you get nice little peak as you lift up your um, spoon. Just kind of roll it into a circle as, as round as you can and then lift up. Oh, that's a little too much. It's running off the sides. This is such a viscous frosting. Also the heat probably isn't helping. If I cooled it down a little bit more, if I chilled it, it would be holding on a little bit better. I don't like to cut, well, I don't mind leaving some of the cupcake uncovered because it shows off the cupcake itself and how it's got all those little strawberry bits blended in there. Whenever I'm doing things, I usually do fruit or chocolate or whatever. Um, and I like to show the, the marbling and the color of the cake. Because eating cupcakes isn't just it, it's supposed to appeal to all the senses in my mind I mean it's sweet and delicious but it should smell delicious and it should look delicious this is really time-consuming and and like in like energy not energy but just like a lot of focus intensive try not to make a mess and doing each of these cupcakes one by one but I really enjoy it it takes me to like a Zen place just doing each of these. All right, that's done. Uh, the next step, strawberries. Plop, that's huge. Oh gosh. Let's do that on one of the big cupcakes. I didn't need to worry about putting a good peak on it because we're just gonna put enormous strawberries on everything. Mm, what's the biggest, next biggest cupcake? These are huge strawberry pieces. I could probably be cutting these in half or paring them down. Uh, oh no! Oh. Mm. Mm. It's okay, I had one extra. That was really good, actually. Okay, they're done. Wow. They are, some of the strawberries are slipping and moving. I really need the frosting to harden up a little bit. It may have been premature to put the strawberries on them. Especially these big strawberry chunks. Uh, what do I, what have I got? All right, I've got a cupcake carrier here. Can load this thing up and put it in the fridge a little, oh, oven, oven off.
Let me move the stuff around so I can see what I'm doing. That's a mess. Oh, what have I done? Created a monster. This is another reason why I like them to be a little bit taller. Makes them easier to get out of the cupcake pan. Ooh. These strawberries are just sliding all around. Oh. I'm eating this one later. I will leave that one for last. How am I going to get these out? I need another spoon to help me lever these out. I think I know what I need. I need a washcloth, like a dry or a dry cloth, instead of using going through all these paper towels. In retrospect, the strawberries could probably have gone on last after I've after I've loaded these up. They probably could have gone on after I chilled the frosting in the fridge a little bit. And I wouldn't be having such a mess here. I think the heat, residual heat from these cupcakes is making the strawberries cook a little bit and they're releasing water. And I think that's what's making them slide. So definitely, if you do this, uh, let it chill for a little bit before you add any kind of fruit on top. I want to snap a picture of this for for my thumbnail. Okay, okay. Uh, the final thing, I suppose. Let me pack this up. And I mentioned in the very beginning of the stream, I've never made strawberry cupcakes before. This is entirely uh, an experiment, as is this live stream. Let me make sure I got all the latches. Last thing I want is to pick this up and have all the cupcakes fall at the bottom. After all of that work, uh, I'm gonna just kind of shove that into the back. Okay, get that in there. Oops. The last and final step is the taste test. This one's a mess, I broke it. I broke this cupcake, oh no. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this without spilling it right onto my phone. But I'm going to try. It's definitely moist. I'm getting lots of strawberry. It's so moist. It's falling apart a little bit. Mm, that's the jam. That's really good. <laughs> mm. And that's it, it's gone, delicious. Mm. I'm gonna say that was a success. I'll go ahead and clean up the rest here. Um, Mm. This is going to go in the fridge, that's going in the fridge, the fridge. Mm -hmm. I better pack these up before I try to clean up the paper towels. But um, that's the stream. 
Uh, thanks for hanging out and watching. That took just under two hours. I'll clean this up in probably another five, ten minutes. So about two hours for the full time. Completely experimental. Never done this before. Um, well, I've made cupcakes before, but never done strawberry cupcakes before with strawberries and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This is my first IRL stream. Don't know if I'll do this again. Maybe if I'm cooking another time, I'll do another stream. Thanks for watching and have a great day.